Alright people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, of course, Cosmos got some new support in Bosch. And, of course, more people want to go ahead and make more fake cards. So, uh, if you kind of look at the card art of Cosmojo, you can see that uh, Farm Girl is kind of being held by the Force. And it looks like a control panel arm. I mean, obviously, they've already done Darth Maul and Wicked Witch. So, you know, expect maybe a Darth Vader, right? So... This person decided to go ahead and create their own Darth Vader Cosmo card. I have no idea what the counterpart with the Wizard of Oz would be. You know, uh, I was thinking like maybe the you know the Wizard of Oz himself, but I I don't know. He's not he's not really a bad guy, and he more kind of leads Dorothy. So he's kind of green, and Yoda's kind of green. So maybe Wizard of Oz and Yoda, but I have no idea who would be Darth Vader. And I'm talking as if I know Star Wars. I, I still have not seen a Star Wars movie, not one, nor do I plan on seeing this new one. So I guess with uh, the occasion of the Star Wars movie and the new Star Wars game and the new Cosmos getting new support that has something to do with Star Wars and all the Star Wars, more Cosmos. So this card is called Cosmo Dark Invader. Oh, so instead of Darth Vader, it's Dark Invader. We're real creative with the name, you know. And it's literally just a picture of Darth Vader. You know, like I said, I have no idea what would be the counterpart when it comes to the Wizard of Oz. You know, the combination of the Wizard of Oz, like uh, you know, Dorothy Skywalker and, and all the monsters that you can easily tell. I have no idea. Maybe they'll just... Simply just have a Darth Vader-esque image and just be like, you don't know who it is from the Wizard of Oz because, you know, they're wearing that suit. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Dark Invader is a Xe monster. Okay, you know. I mean, Cosmos don't have any Xe monsters, nor, so at times they really don't have any reason to access the extra deck at all. You know, I've seen plenty of Cosmos decks that just don't even run an extra deck, so, uh, to have give them an XC monster seems kind of out of place, you know, it just seems like, you know, if anything, the the Darth Vader-esque monster should just be, like, what, another level 4? You know, another level 4 psychic, so, anyway, uh, XC monster, dark, rank 4, psychic, XC effect monster, 2800 attack, 2400 defense, 2800 attack is very strong for a, a rank 4, you, you gotta admit that, it's made with two or more level 4 Cosmo monsters. Okay, so if it's if it can be made with more level four cosmic monsters, does that mean that it gets a bonus effect for having more XC materials? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and read its effect. So, once per turn, you can attach one XC material from this card. Add one Cosmo spell slash trap from your deck or graveyard to your hand. All right. Well, there's a couple of uh, Cosmo spell slash traps. Of course, you got Cosmo Town. So. You know, instead of having to run that terraforming, you could just, you know, have two level four Cosmo monsters, which at this point, there's not too many. It's just, you know, Wicked Witch or uh, Good Witch. So, okay. Uh, detach and then go ahead and search up your Cosmo Town. Uh, I guess since it's uh, Darth Vader and he has a lightsaber, I'm assuming that you're supposed to search uh, that light sword equip spell that no one's really playing. So, meh. Or you can search Cosmo Joe, okay, because, you know, Cosmo Joe, he's using the force to uh, attack Farm Girl, so, okay, I, I, I can see that. That's not a terrible fact, it actually makes sense. Alright, continuing on. Once we turn during either player's turn, you can attack two XC materials, uh, two XC materials from this card, so I guess this is where you get the multiple XC materials in. So, depending on how many XC materials you have, depending on which, which effects you can use, how many times you can use that effect, so uh, you can either... Detach and get search, or during your play's turn, you can attach two XC material to so special summon one monster from your opponent's graveyard or banish zone, but banish it when it leaves the field. So I guess you're bringing them over to the dark side. Is, is, is that it? Is that it? So that's not terrible, you know. Just during either player's turn, be able to just uh, snatch up a monster from your opponent's graveyard or banish, and then you know use it on your uh, field, and you know. Even if it's one of the monsters that's kind of floaty that, you know, will dissolve in the graveyard when it gets killed. No, it's going to get banished when it leaves the field. So, uh, yeah, take it, use it as your own, and then banish it when you're done with it. Alright. And then, last effect. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can pay 700 life points, banish one random card from your opponent's hand. Meh. Okay. 
I mean, it doesn't require any detaching. It's literally just a bonus. So, if you're willing to go ahead and pay that thousand light points, I mean, banishing a card from your opponent's hand, that's pretty good. You know, hand resources in his hand and field. So, being able to go ahead and just be like, all right, I'm a 28 beater. Oh, I flip damage. Give me that card. It's just not that bad. Not that bad. So, uh, I'm not really a fan of it too much. I mean, some of the effects, you know, if they carried over to the actual Darth Vader um, Cosmo Monster, the actual one, I wouldn't mind. But just it being an XC monster, like, I don't understand. Like, you overlay Good Witch with a Wicked Witch. How does that turn into Darth Vader? Like, I don't understand. You know, uh, who who is Good Witch? Is, is it Qui-Gon Jinn? And then, of course, Wicked Witch is Darth Maul, so... What does that have to do with Darth Vader? Like, I don't understand. Like, I would much rather it just be a normal, you know, effect monster, level 4, and, you know, do the effects respectively. Be like a 2,000 beater, just because it's Darth Vader, so it's probably going to be stronger than, you know, Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul. So, 2,000 attack, level 4 effect monster, 2,000 attack, I don't care about the defense. Uh have your usual effect that you can go ahead and tag out because this card of course can't even tag out which is kind of one of the things that makes the cosmic monsters good the second monsters can go ahead and tag out so and uh uh the 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 searching effect i don't mind so when this card you know how well fun girl just when it fucks battle damage period you get a search of a cosmo card so maybe when this card like destroys monster by battle you get to go ahead and search for a cosmo spell or trap and add it from your deck and add it to your hand. That way, it actually has something to do with Darth Vader and the uh, lightsaber and uh, and uh, Cosmojo. But you know, be on the dark side. You go ahead and destroy your post monster. You're destroying your opponent. And you get more powerful. I don't know. I'm just I'm kind of, I'm creating a fake card while looking at this fake card. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and uh, see what other people are saying. So this person named Egotistical Ghost said, "Detach." To effect has very use in Cosmo. It's terrible game. The whole point in Cosmo is the OTK. It essentially turns them into a control deck. No, I mean, not really. You take it, it's not like you take a monster from your opponent's You take it from your graveyard or banish, and then you use it to proceed to do more damage. So, I don't, I don't understand. The only other thing I see is doing is going into a rank 4 place. But even that doesn't work because Cosmo is the OTK is the main deck, not the extra. That's the effect also has a chance of being done. So maybe you raise it up some to banish one random card instead of a monster. Okay, I guess. I guess they changed it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Banish from hand effect and attached to effect. Okay, so I guess yeah. Then so basically, I made a dark Vader a cosmos to have this effect to search out light sword primal and give reason to play the card. Even if it could light sword, I wouldn't play it. <laughs> I mean, what you have to buy four hundred. So I guess you'd be like thirty two gear. Like holy shit! Like that is very strong for ring four. Like, it's like, four months, like okay. And one is very good for Also, being able to search out is very nice in my opinion. Like, so pretty much the same reason I said without even reading what you wrote. Uh, so I guess they did change. It from monster, which I don't understand. How you how you banish one random monster from your opponent's hand without looking in the hand to confirm that it's a monster? Like I don't know. Yeah, it definitely has to be a card. You just never really pick a card. So, uh, yeah, that just has to be changed. to be changed. And also they said also when you say reason to play the card, you mean light sword or dark Vader? He means light sword, obviously. All right. And then another person in Tundra, which replied to uh, uh egotistic ghost, says yes. No one plays light sword. I mean, there's really no point. And, you're not really getting it in with the psychic monsters, you're getting it in with the with the machines, the ship. So, I mean, really, what's the point? I mean, you clip it to a farm girl, she gets pierced, she gets a search, like, it's just not really worth it. If anything, you play one, but even that's, like, not necessary. Anyway, he said, yes, no one plays Light Sword, and it makes this card do at, oh, 3300. I, I don't remember the attack, I don't remember, it's 500, 400, I guess it's 500. Yeah, so, yeah, pierce damage. 3300 attack, yeah. And the benefit fact is just a bonus. Yes, yeah, so I said, sure, it's probably not the best way to play Cosmos in a, a competitive, and it's not competitive, really wrong, competitive, C A M P E T I T V E <laughs> standpoint, but in combination with the new cards for Bosch, which are also not very highly competitive. But then he spells competitive correctly the second time, actually. Okay, I feel like it works very well. The patch 2 expect still makes it OTK based, in my opinion. Or if you measure up your story from your opponent's hand, for example, it has no tricks to win that card. Uh, but I can't attack, so it actually can be your right there. Depending on what your matchup is and the very match that's trouble, it's the difficult category. I mean, it's actually kind of useless if you're going against, like, you know, magic factors or something, but, you know, mirror match, you can go ahead and take your, your opponent's cosmic cards and use them. It's not bad, so, alright. Maybe this card should be banished or at least it failed. But I'm benefit from that, so, not sure. Why, why should it be banished? It's not demock. But yeah, banishing any random card from, from a hand, the last effect would be more sense if it be bad. Okay, so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you did change it, it makes more sense context-wise. Like I said, overall, I'm not blown away by it, and if it was real, 
I mean, maybe you wanted the extra deck just in case, just in case you do that play, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, right now, I see Cosmo decks, they're running Wicked Witch, probably like two or three, and like one good witch, so it's like there's just not a lot of rank fours to really pull this card off. Like, I, I just don't know where you're going with it. I would have I made it much different. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think of Cosmo Dark Invader. So, if you guys are going to go see the new Star Wars movie, have fun, I guess. I don't know. I'm not watching it, I know that. Nor am I playing the new Battlefront. It looks kind of booty, and I've heard that it is booty. I mean, I did play Battlefront the originals, man, back in 2005. Those games were hella fun. But, I mean, can I don't think that this new EA deck, uh, game has topped it. But that, that's just another topic. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.